So in this video, we're going to be discussing how you can remotely access your worker from anywhere. I am accessing my worker from the same network because I am using my main computer. But if I was using a laptop or my phone somewhere else, you should still be able to do the same. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your worker. You're going to go remote access. I like to use shut on the box. It opens up a new browser. You're going to get this notification or this message. Your connection is not private. You just hit advanced and proceed. So that's going to open a terminal and a new tab. The default login, I believe is user and the password is one. What you see here is pretty much what you can see over here. The difference is you have full access to your worker. Some of the stuff here, you can see the command FAQ. So you can type in help me minor. If you type in just minor, it shows what your minor screen would show as if you were mining with a monitor plugged in. Um, we can stop the miner. Let's go back. In order to go back, you hit control plus A and then you type B. Let's see. Let's do minor stop. And then it, it should have stopped the miner. We type minor. This screen is to be attached is to be attached matching minor usage minor. Okay. So since the minor is not running, nothing comes up. If you do minor start, but before we do that, let's go back over here. Yeah. You see the minor stopped the, the actual rig is still on, but the minor uptime is gone and you don't see any hash rate because I stopped the minor everything dropped, even the wattage. So if you go back to minor start, hit enter, that starts the minor again, you type in minor and you can see it starting as if you would in your regular, um, monitor, if you were physically present there and there are other commands as well. Let's see, let's go back control a and then D and then you, what does it help me? And it shows these commands again. You can upgrade your miner from here to the latest version. You can um, see what you can keep logs on disk or in RAM or for flash for USB flash drive. There's a few different things you can do, but pretty much what this does, it gives you full access to your miner remotely. So if you need to do a driver update, if you need to do a miner update, you can do it from here. If you need access, for example, let's do let's list what's available. These are the files that are available. Let's go back. CD. The last, let's see what, let's see what's in here. So these are basic commands. You can see everything here. These are different folders. If you go into, let's see, for example, um, let's look at CD home. Let's see what's in here. The user CD user. That we go back to where we were before. If you know how to use the terminal, you can find your way around and find the log file for that miner. Um, let's see if I can find it. Let's go CD. Go back a few. Let's list again. Let's go back a little bit more. List. Okay, we're at the root folder. I forgot which side is uh, which folder. Oh, let's go to the hive folder. CD hive. Let's list what's in here. Then you go CD miners. Let's list what's in there. CD T Rex. And then this is your T Rex folder. Let's go to the latest version. So CD 0.24.5. Let's list it again. And let's go to CD T dash Rex. Oh no, that's the actual minor file. Let's look at the config.json file though. So let's do nano config.json. And you can see what your config is, which is pretty much what the flight sheet is set up. What the flight sheet is passing to that um to that miner. So it's passing the wallet address, it's passing the pool address, and a few other things. Um this is just getting a little carried away, but this is how you gain full access to your miner in case you're not physically present 
and hopefully this helped you guys out as far as updating something remotely or maybe if you guys just want to see what the actual terminal shows compared to what the hive os website is showing um, this would definitely help you guys out in the next video we're going to see how we receive notifications when something happens with our miner for example if the miner goes offline or if the miner is too hot or if hash rate watchdog has rebooted the miner for whatever reason and i will be showing you how i'm using telegram to notify me when something goes wrong with the miner